This video is intended for informational purposes only and is meant to serve as an overview. It does not intend to facilitate code compliance and shouldn't be used for trainings. For more information on training for the 2021 IECC and deeper analyses of the code, be sure to visit the International Codes Council website or go to the U.S. Department of Energy's BECP website. Now let's get started. The 2021 IECC is hailed by many as a considerable achievement in energy efficiency. According to early estimates, residential construction could see an 8 to 14% increase in efficiency, depending on climate zone, over the 2018 IECC. The commercial code provisions could see improvements of approximately 10% over the 2018 IECC. Official determinations for cost effectiveness and energy efficiency will be released in later 2021. These efficiency increases are significant, especially compared to the minimal gains in efficiency over the last two code update cycles. Buildings account for around 40% of greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. So an energy code that provides significant energy efficiency improvement is a massive win since many states strive for higher levels of efficiency in carbon neutrality. There were many changes to the residential provisions of the IECC 2021 that greatly improved energy efficiency. The prescriptive requirements, many focusing on the envelope, were improved for specific climate zones. These changes include roof, wall, foundation R values, U factors for windows, doors, and skylights, fenestration, solar heat gain coefficient, duct leakage rate, and many more. There are now a total of five compliance paths for residential construction that include energy efficiency backstops and changes to trade-offs. Building designers and contractors must pick from several compliance pathways to meet the code. Essentially, these compliance pathways amount to different ways to measure building energy consumption so that a building meets required efficiency levels. There are now three prescriptive paths, the R value minimum path, the U factor maximum path, and the UA equivalent path. There are now two performance paths as well, simulated performance alternative R405 and the energy rating index or ERI path, section R406. Mandatory requirements were also added or changed in this section of the code, including standardized energy efficiency provisions that were optional or less stringent in past code cycles. These mandatory requirements now include infiltration control, duct insulation, sealing and testing, HVAC controls, piping insulation and circulating service hot water requirements, equipment sizing, dampers, and lighting. Another notable new feature is a zero energy appendix for residential buildings that states or communities can choose to adopt. It uses a simple energy rating index or ERI approach to help buildings lower their load and requires renewable energy to make up the remaining annual energy consumption. Overall, out of the 114 residential proposals approved for incorporation into the code, 21% focused on increased energy efficiency for the building envelope, lighting, HVAC, and service hot water. There were also critical administrative changes to streamline the residential provisions and make the code easier to understand.